What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing right here. We're back with another reaction video. Happy Thanksgiving to all my wonderful people out there, man. This is a Thanksgiving special. I'm recording this probably the day after. Well, I'm recording this on Thanksgiving, so probably the day after. But the Thanksgiving here is actually tomorrow. But anyhow, hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Hope you guys are spending time with your family, having a nice meal, you know, spending time with your loved ones and friends. But yeah, today we're gonna be doing a little reaction video on uh, she tried to she tried to take my glizzy animated story, but you know, yo yo 808 shouts out to yo yo, you know what I mean? All that good shit. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a little reaction video. Like, look up oh, shit. Nice. This nigga, this nigga ain't even holding back. But anyway, we're gonna do a little reaction video. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get into it. So I look up and I see the nurse holding the catheter, and after getting one glance of it, my only thought is, how in the heck is that fitting into my glisten? Oh, shit. 20 guys watching this video, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This took place when I was around 14. Now, I'm gonna spare you guys some details, but in this particular story, I I'll admit it. I injured my glizzy, okay? Oh, I fuck. injured my glizzy. Pardon my language. Laugh it up. And because of this injury, I No! That shit ain't funny! I promise you, any nigga who laughing at this, you are a sick individual, bro. That shit ain't funny, that shit. Oh my god. When I saw that brick hitting him just now, yo, I flinched a little bit. If I, let me tell you, they heal my arm is, can you see it? It is standing up. Oh, fuck no, ah, oh, put my language. Damn. Surgery that would require me to wear a catheter afterwards. And a catheter is basically this tube with a bag that they stick through your ah! bladder. And then they inflate a balloon to keep it in place. This is so you don't need to push and strain to pee. It just kind of drains directly from your bladder. Oh, that made some of you cringe? Good, because <laughs> we to say he was 98% not looking forward to having a tube jammed inside of Oh my god, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. I didn't know it was this. I thought this nigga was getting a head or something. I swear to God. I thought this nigga was getting like fellatio or something. That's why I click on the video. Hold up. I need I need to catch my breath. Hold on me. Okay. Alright. Part of my body. 98 because the other 2% was considering not showing up. <laughs> like not going to the hospital, ignoring the injury and letting it get worse. If it falls off. It falls off. I don't I know that need one. my glizzy to survive. But I stopped and thought about all the good times we've had. <laughs> Facts. That yeah, personal time. Uh, fine, I'll get the surgery. I hype myself up and head to the doctor. They give me a wristband thing. I get put on a stretcher. They give me a few shots. But I had hyped myself up earlier, so I didn't even flinch. I'm built different. Wait, no. Stop. Stop. Well, apparently tube was built different too, bro, because I look up and I see the nurse holding the catheter, and after getting one glance of it, my only thought is, how in the heck is that fitting into my glizzy? This was not a regular IV tube. This was dang near a PVC pipe, bro. It was thick. Oh my gosh. Flexible, textured, thick. Oh my I'm gosh. Like, I'm, I'm like, well, this is where we part ways. Like, I'm not leaving this room. With you attached to my body, that tube oh my is God. monstrous. I immediately regret my decision to show up, but I, I'm in too deep. I couldn't leave. They gave me a wristband thing. That's pretty official if you ask me. So the nurse lays me down, and right as she's putting the sleeping gas mask thing on my face, I'm glancing at the tube and back at her and panicking internally. And I think my nurse can sense my worry because she says in a calm voice, Oh, don't worry, sir. It'll be okay. And she just seemed so reassuring and genuine, so I believed her. She put on the mask and I began to calmly fall asleep. Oh! They put you to sleep. Oh my gosh. I I thought she was awake, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Put me to KO. Knock, knock me out, bro. I don't do that to me while I'm awake. I swear to God. I'm fighting. I am fighting. I'm freaking swinging. Hell out of any bike who come close to me with that shit, bro. It's for the God, bro. You catching these hands, bro. Until I see like seven doctors into the room and then I see her leave. I shouldn't have believed her. They start crowding me and begin grabbing 
tools? This is a very minor surgery. Why does it look like they're about to build a bed frame? Some I'll of these tools down. look borderline medieval. I'm looking around like that thing looks electric. Why does a tool that big need to be used? Is that guy holding scissors? What the heck is going on right now? But before I panic, the gas knocks me out. I wake up several hey, hours later oh. at home and the catheter's in. Nothing crazy happened. I guess it was weird not peeing for a couple of weeks, but that was it, really. Thanks for watching. You can't say nothing to me because I'm living my life. Oh, for real. <laughs> and this ain't a movie. I, the real story starts when it... Yo! <laughs> I was saying to myself, what? Okay, the yeah. The removed. A couple weeks pass and I make a full recovery and it gets time for me to go to the doctor. I go to the hospital and instantly I know something is not okay because instead of the nice soft voice doctor I had earlier, I'm greeted by this swole, deep voice doctor. Oh my he gosh. sits me down and explains how he's going to remove the catheter. Basically, he has to deflate the balloon that's inside of my body and pull the tube out. He deflates the balloon. Success. He then goes to pull out the tube, but he tells me I need to be calm because if I tense up, it will hurt. I let him know I understand. I take a deep breath, and he pulls. Instantly, I feel the shine I have ever felt in my glizzy. It takes me aback, so I tense up while he's pulling. And the pain gets twice as worse. Twice as worse. This was such a unique type of pain. It felt like a gunshot. If the bullet was one but long and getting yeeted out of your pit, stops pulling and tells me to chill. I apologize and look down to see how much we have left. You apologize to me, like, ass nigga, but that's your dick. Yo, boy, that's your glizzy, bro. Hold up, this, I, I, I got one there, oi, why are you pausing so much? I have to take break. I cannot take all of this. No homo. Um, at one, I have to ration it out. Take, you know, peace, 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 peace. Whew. All right. Look, he hasn't even pulled out an inch yet. Like, I still have a whole foot left to go. Giannis, I, I need you to calm down. You're only making it worse. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm. Oh. I'm calm now. Go, 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 go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'm pulling now. Ah! Ooh. All right, stop, 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 stop. He tries like four or five more times, and I can tell he's getting annoyed because he's been pulling a piece of plastic out of my glizzy for like the past ten minutes. I can imagine. Cutting into his lunch break. I'm positive this guy has better things to do. Okay, Johannes, Johannes, we are going to slowly pull. He wants to say nigga again. Hey, he wants to say nigga. You don't want. You want. You, it hurts you, bro. I don't want to get to keep on looking at your glizzy, bro. So please let me hurry up, take this out straight out. Listen, I'm gonna tell you when this is over. I'm gonna tell you it's time. I had a situation with my glizzy as well. Okay. Okay. Stick for that part. Sounds. Sounds. Sounds good. One second. No! No, we're going now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. Wow. This dude yanked the. Oh, shit! Out. He figured I'd never relax, so he decided to say, screw me, screw my sense of trust, and screw my sense of feeling in my genitals. And he pulled it up with force, okay? It was a long pain. Not instantly, because it was still one foot. Tube. I felt every inch of it. Like the pain was long. Yo, yo, you gotta say pause. No homo. You felt every inch. I'm gonna say it for you. I'm gonna say it for you. Pause. No homo. Long enough as to where my reflexes had time to kick in and tense up near the end, and I also had time to glance at him. Like, why? Why would you do this? I, I thought I could trust you. <laughs> Gave me a wristband thing, so he removed the tube. <laughs> Obviously, double over in pain. He gets up and has the audacity to be like, "Good job." <laughs> After that and all was well until I got home and tried to pee for the first time. Everything I've ever done, I had to do it on my own. That's
That's why I don't oh my God. Cool so, alright, this is my part now, right? Y'all know I like to dance to this one. So, my part, my story time now. What I decided to do one time was, I decided to couple. Actually, that one time, this is like three weeks ago. I decided to do the responsible thing as an adult, a sexually active adult, is to get tested. So I said, all right, let me get tested just because, you know, to be safe, to better be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? So I went to the, I went, got tested, right? So the doctor was like, okay, Mr. Mizzy, we're gonna test you. All right, so first, I need you to pee in the cup. Draw some blood and swab you. So I said, alright, cool. I pee in the people in the cup. I give it back, put it on the little counter. Give them the blood. Blood work, whatever, whatever. So she's not, okay, now Mr. Minutes, Mr. Minutes, Mr. Minutes, time to swab you. So I'm like, alright, yeah, no problem. So she said, okay, so said, alright, time to swab you. So I'm in my head, I'm thinking, I pull it down my mask now, open it my motherfucking mouth. So she said, no, no, Mr. Mizzick, it's not your mouth. I said, oh, oh, I, I said, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. You know, so I, 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 I closed my mouth. I tilt my head back so she could put the, you know, she started laughing. So I'm like, what's so funny? So she's like, no, Mr. Mizzick, this is not a corona test. I'm, I'm, I have to swab your penis. So I said, oh, okay, cool. So I said, all right, so she said, drop your pants for me. It, it wasn't her, so I was a lot more comfortable with it, so I didn't really mind. So I was like, alright, cool. So, in my head, I'm thinking, she's gonna take my penis. Oh, wait, wait, can I sit on you? My glizzy, let's see my glizzy. Just to be on the other same side. Take my glizzy and take the... My nigga, let me show you how long the swab was. This swab was probably like... The same swab that's used for the corona test? The same freaking one. Probably as long as this shit. Probably as long as... Yes. Right, one little Q-tip on top. So, one little swab at the top, cotton swab at the top. So she's like, all right, Mr. Mizzick. In my head, I'm thinking she's gonna take the swab, you know, uh, wipe around the glizzy, you know, to get a sample and put in a little tube. She said, okay, Mr. Mizzick, I'm gonna pinch your glizzy head together. I'm like, huh? So you're gonna feel a burning sensation. Please don't move. So I'm like, wait, 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 what you mean? So she said, Mr. Smith, I'm going to swab you. So, I'm, so my head again, I'm thinking, okay, maybe she's just going to get the pee, the pee hole, that's called the pee hole. Just a little pee hole, you know, sample. This woman squeezed my you know what together and dive in my shit like a freaking scuba diver. Yo, I said, yo, I want the boom clock. Hey, what you do? So she said, Mr. Mizzick, stop moving. Behave, Mr. Music. I said, Miss, you have a whole cotton swab down my, you know what, and you're telling me to behave? No, you behave. So she's laughing. Mr. Music, come on, and you're gonna make it hurt. So she said, no. I said, man, uh-uh. Yo, yo, yo. I said, Miss, please, 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 please. No, Miss. Yo, I was about to cry. I swear to God. I was supposed to cry. She said, Mr. Music, you don't want this break off in there. So I said, oh God, <laughs> so then I just was. <laughs> and then she said, okay, Mr. Mizzick. Why do doctors do that? Like your honest did. Good job. I look at this woman, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, that hurt. And listen, after that, I felt so violated. I felt like, I felt like I was inappropriately touched, right? Even though I had no, I had consented to it, I'm like, bro, this is, this is a ring. And I was walking like a crap, like, I couldn't even walk, Let's, I swear to you, when I came out the room, my hands were shaking. People were just looking at me, he okay, he okay, he okay? Like, all I could do was, like, sit this in my backpack. Like, I sit in my like. I just sit in another room. So she came out of the room after me and she said, okay, Mr. Mr. I said, oh, so say you okay? I was like, uh-huh. Oh. Man, she was fine as hell, right? But after that, I did not look at her the same way. I can't again. I swear to God, I swear to you. But man, when I got home, 
Yo, that was a different type of, when I tried my new one to try a pee. Boy! Okay, I'm not. <laughs> That's it, alright, bro. Really, truly. But hey, I'm not saying this to discourage anybody from getting tested. Please, still go get tested. My solution now is I'm not gonna put myself in a scenario where I have to get tested again like that. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep myself to my. I'm gonna keep to myself so I don't have to go through that pain what I did. Trust me, it was not fun. Not fun one this whatsoever, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button, man, if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more reaction videos from me, let me know. I'll try to do it. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace.